Vegemite. I stand with Australians on this one. Vegemite is good and it's better than Marmite. Than Marmite. Than Marmite. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the James Rambling Show, coming at you live on Friday night. Tonight's your host, James Bay. Hello. Welcome back to the James Rambling Show. You might be wondering, why am I wearing this? Why have I got sunglasses on? You remember the hot takes on food? episode from from three months ago right ladies and gentlemen would i tell you this would you believe this when i say welcome to the hot takes on food sequel oh my god what the heck's going on the heck was that Ladies and gentlemen, the party is just getting started. (laughs) I'm still here after all of those takes I had on food. You thought I couldn't come back from the boneless versus bone-in chicken thing. You thought I couldn't come back from that noodle take I had, from that wheat bix take I had. Ladies and gentlemen, I still eat wheat bix without the sugar. Ladies and gentlemen, I still prefer bone-in versus bone-in over boneless. I prefer all of that, that. Oh. But what I will say is that... You know, just like, I just think that Vegemite is better than Marmite. He said it. He said it. He said it. He said that Vegemite is better than Marmite. Okay, let me tell you this, right? Marmite just has this flavour where it just doesn't taste good, in my opinion. I don't get it. I literally do not get this. Okay, I don't get it. People say, oh, it's better than Vegemite. Well, I think that Vegemite has sort of a strong taste to it, but I found that Marmite is just sweet, and it's just this thing that I'm just like, no, I'm not going to eat Marmite tonight. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to eat Marmite. That's not what I'm doing here. I am just going to have Vegemite. And I actually had Vegemite sandwiches today for school, and that was just amazing. Like, just even putting Vegemite with cheese, Vegemite on toast, Vegemite, I stand with Australians on this one, Vegemite is good and it's better than Marmite, than Marmite, than Marmite. <laughs> I mentioned me w- McDonald's last episode, right? The hot takes on food, the hot takes on food episode where I mentioned McDonald's and I went on a rant about this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen... I have not actually mentioned about KFC. KFC. The chicken is immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. I would even go on to say that KFC is better than McDonald's. (gasps) He said it. He literally said, I literally said that KFC is better than McDonald's. I think that the chicken has more merits than a Big Mac or whatever you get at McDonald's, right? You're not just sitting there eating a burger. You're actually sitting there with just your meal and you're just, you're just having chicken instead of just a burger. Like, you're mixing up the bag here. You're not just going for a burger, because there is burgers at KFC, sure. But the, the chicken is not going to disappoint you when you, go to, when you go to KFC. That is what you go for. That is what I go for when I go to KFC. When I go to KFC. KFC. Pizza. So there was this. There was. I never really mentioned pizza on the last episode. I'm about to change that because it's been very, 
very, very, very apparent that that I heard on the news or I heard the speculation going around that like Hawaiian pizza is the best pizza or it's actually good, right? Hawaiian pizza, yes, you could say that Hawaiian pizza is a good sort of pizza, but it's actually overpraised in my opinion. Come on now, literally, like this whole thing. Yeah, I can maybe maybe people enjoy that, but the that just. Hawaiian pizza, Hawaiian pizza, Hawaiian pizza, okay, you're putting a fruit onto pizza, that doesn't, like, I don't know, I don't know how that is just sweet, like, I've just realised how sweet this Hawaiian pizza has gotten over the years, I've just done so much research where this Hawaiian pizza literally is so sweet and it's interrupting the sauce and all that. I don't get it. I don't get it. Hawaiian pizza. Hawaiian pizza. It's a thing people enjoy or they don't enjoy. And just Hawaiian pizza. Hawaiian pizza. And I'm going to say it, okay? I'm going to say it, okay? I'm going to say it, okay? You people that do not eat the pizza with the crust. I actually don't know what to say to you. You don't, you don't want to have the, I say, like, the most, like, cool part of the pizza that you break away from the, from the actual sauce and everything. You don't want to have crust on your pizza. Crust on your pizza. Crust on your pizza. Okay? P- 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 preferences aside, um, you literally are destroying the base of the pizza because when you ha- when you make a pizza right you have to have the bread in there you have to have bread in there you cannot just have th- just the sauce and everything go and mix up the bag so all you pizza crust trash is just kind of like what is even the point in having no pizza crust on pizza it ruins the pizza and you're not getting as much of a good experience as you are with the actual crust itself and that just these people man these people they have went wrong they have went to the wrong side of the spectrum they were dropped on the head as a baby something went wrong i know something just absolutely went wrong and i don't know man how can somebody praise plain pizza very spoken about Hawaiian and, and just cross, crossless, but plain pizza. What are you getting out of this? What are you getting out of this if you literally have plain pizza? I'm talking the cheese and the tomato and yada 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 only. Only that on the actual pizza itself. What are we gaining from this experience? Tell me in five five words, right? You can't. You literally can't because the pizza. The pizza doesn't have anything else on it, but the sauce and the cheese, 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 sauce and the cheese, sauce and the cheese, sauce and the cheese, sauce and the cheese. You're just getting that out of it. You're basically getting that out of the pizza. So I don't know what else to say to you. I don't know what else to say to you. No, I actually love Swedish meatballs. That I've came to this realization where I think Swedish meatballs can actually outscore your stereotypical meatballs that you have with that spaghetti and that kind of thing. So the Spanish are probably going to come after me for this take, but um, I'm just going to go straight to the point, guys. I'm going to go straight to the point because that's what this podcast is about, right? Going straight to the point. We totally don't go on tangents in this podcast. So, I'd actually think that Swedish meatballs, yeah, just Swedish meatballs, I think they're just better than your stereotypical Spanish, okay? The, Spa- the Spanish attack me right now, they're actually at my door, and this is gonna go insane. They're gonna probably kill me before this episode ends. This is gonna be the end of the James Ramos show. There is no way we're gonna come back from this episode. Just these people, these people just triggering me online, you know, just getting this sort of thing. 
out of the way. Just people just make, just people think, people, people really thought this was the end of the hot take saga. Ladies and gentlemen, this show must go on. This show must go on. I have ate the apple core to the max. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have ate the apple core to its max. I have actually, when it comes to eating an apple, I basically eat that entire thing, okay? No, no hesitation right there. Just getting that core out of the way. And, uh, you know, when you eat an apple, right, if you eat all these apple seeds, like, it's, there's basically cyanide in there. And when you eat all that, if you eat, like, enough of that, basically you're gonna die, okay? It's not like I'm gonna eat constant apple seeds all the time. That That is not how this is gonna go. But I have heard that the more you eat, Apple seeds and apple stuff like that, or apple seeds, whatever. This is gonna be sign you're gonna die, right? You're gonna die from eating 200 seeds of apples or something like that. Some absolute wild stuff right there. And that's just, yeah, just, oh man, that was just people, just, I have done that for a long time. I've always sort of had this sort of thing where I eat the apple, the apple core, and I do that. And I do that sort of thing. I actually, on top of this knowledge, on top of knowing that, on top of knowing that, on top of knowing that, I actually eat the skin of kiwis, kiwi fruits. I think that is amazing. Right, I don't think I've talked about this before, but kiwi fruit skin is amazing. It's immaculate. It's stunning and brave. It's it's everything you need to know. It's check. It's ticking all those boxes. It is absolutely what you go for, baby, baby. It is what you go for. What you go for. What you go for. You go. You grab. You grab the skin. You get the key. Kiwi within, you grab, you grab, you grab the skin, you get, they get the kiwi skin within, the kiwi skin within, the kiwi skin within, the kiwi skin within, 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 the kiwi skin within, ladies and gentlemen of the James Ramblin' Show! <laughs> There's this restaurant, right? It's called LJ's, and I don't know if you've heard about this place, but, but, but it's actually this fish place, right? It's absolutely amazing, and I actually think that this LJ's store that I'm talking about right here, I think this is actually outscoring McDonald's right here, because you're getting a break from just stereotypical beef patties, right? Getting that fish in there, getting that kind of thing going, you're not messing around, you're not messing around with that. You're going in for the kill, and you're going to score big, and you're going to get what you want. You're going to get fish, you're going to get something different. And that's what kind of makes LJ's sort of better than McDonald's. Because LJ's just has a thing, just getting away from the stereotypes of just having, oh, every rest, every takeaway has burgers, has burgers and fries, has burgers and fries. Well, we're just going to tell you that we're making fish burgers and we're going to prove you wrong now. Now, there's also, there is obviously, McDonald's has one fillet of fish sort of meal, but LJ's, man, I think LJ's is just an amazing restaurant, like amazing service, I think LJ's just absolutely defeats, just defeats McDonald's, like just absolutely, level 100 boss right here, alpha male, sigma male, grind set right here, absolutely dominating the competition right here, absolutely destroying everything right here. You cannot top that. You cannot top that. You can put KFC next to it, sure. But that's like that's like the two gods handshaking. That is like that period of handshake scene. That is what you absolutely go for. I live in I live in New Zealand, right? There is literally probably there's wait there's there's more food I could talk about. There's more food I could talk about. What the food the food in New Zealand, the food in New Zealand jeans, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Pies. Pies. What about pies? Pies. I think pies are kind of like the pies in pies in New Zealand. They're kind of talked about way too much. 
And you know, I do love my I do love myself some pies now and again. Microwaving that stuff, putting the tomato sauce on there, getting that sort of thing going. But I just think just saying that pies are the best. The best of the best of the best of the best of the best. Sure, pies in New Zealand are good. I don't I'm not trying to underestimate that. But when you say it's the best food of all time, you can you this is what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Pies are not the best food of all time. They're good, don't get me wrong. But pies are not the best food of all time. These things these things I really actually I actually really liked I actually really like um the potato top stuff. Like I think the potato top pie is is one of the best pies I've had. But just saying that like that pies are the the, the best thing of all time. I just can't get that. I can't make my my head around that. I cannot get my head around the fact that people would just say pies are the best thing. Okay, 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 pies are the best thing. I think I just I think like the dairy, the dairy, sure the dairy pies are good, but there's this there's this one supermarket right called Pat and Save, and they have these pies that are absolutely outstanding. I think they're actually better than the pies you get from the dairy. Cronin, what about Cronin? I thought Cronin, Cronin loves pies, right? So he's probably not gonna like this hot dig that I have. Who cares? Who actually cares? This is my opinion. This is my opinion. This is subjectivity. This is subjectivity. So, so you can't really say, oh, oh, think about the view, think about the view, think about the view. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, I'm here, your freaking ass right here. I'm entertaining your fucking ass. I'm entertaining you. I'm trying to bring something new to the table. I'll bring something different. There's not been discovered in a very long time on this podcast. On this poddy casty poddy casty poddy casty poddy casty poddy casty poddy casty People are actually probably absolutely blown away with the amount of effort that went into this episode upgrading the suit, getting that character development going up in here, that kind of thing going on. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to check out us on Spotify for more of the James Rambling Show and the more James Rambling Show channel. Stay tuned for future episodes of this podcast. Now, goodbye and let me have my hot takes on food before I make you think I am the best hot takes food reviewer on the internet, on YouTube, on all those platforms because... Goodbye. Ha 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 ha. It is only just the beginning of the hot take saga. Ha ha ha.